the one question more than any other that people ask me is, can you really read my mind? This is what people want to know. Can you really read my mind? When they ask, I show them this. Think of a two-digit number, any two-digit number, okay? Don't let me influence it, okay? Think of one. You can change your mind. You can go back and forth. It can be high. It can be low. Two-digit number, any one. Thinking of it? Focus on it. I'm going to try to get a sense of the number right now. Okay. I think I got a sense of one of the numbers. The other one you're hiding from me. I can't quite get it. So, so let's play with the number for a second. Let's play with it and kind of bring it to life. That's the problem. Right now it's just a dead number. But I want you to leave your mark on it, okay? So let's play with that. Think of the number, and what I want you to do is take the two digits, and I want you to... Uh, uh, let's reverse them. Reverse them. So if it was a 23, now you're thinking of a 32. 3, 2, 23. Now, um, let's subtract. Whichever one is smaller, I want you to subtract it from the other number. It's going to leave you with a final number. And actually, let's do this. To bring that final number, you have one last number in mind, let's bring that number to life. And I have the perfect way to do this. I was reading Rolling Stone magazine just the other day, and I don't know if you're a, a big fan of music from the 90s. I love the songs from the 90s. They're kind of cool rock and campy. And this is they, what they did is they published a list from 1 to 50. 50 to 100 of the top 100 songs from the 90s, as I guess voted by their readers. And, uh, you know, everything from Losing My Religion to Under the Bridge to Sabotage to Eminem stuff to Sync, Radiohead, Green Day. And, of course, you can extend the list to someone have other people read off a few of the songs if you want. Um, so you're thinking of a number. Now, rather than trying to get a sense of this dead number in your head, I'm going to ask you to try to get a sense of the melody, the song. Now, like I said, it goes from 1 to 50 on this side, 50 to 100 on that. Uh, your number, is it from 1 to 50 or 50 and 100? 1 to 50. From 1 to 50. Okay, there. Take a look at the song at the spot, at the exact spot. And what I'd like you to try to do is try to get to that spot as quickly as you can on the list. To be clear, we're looking for the song that corresponds to the one number you have in your head because I don't want your, so your head cluttered with other songs and other titles, okay? Take a look. Did you get it? You got it in your mind. You do. Okay. So you're thinking of a song, one of, what is it, a hundred songs. You have one song in mind. I want you to focus on the melody. I could try to go after the artist, but I want you to think of the melody of the song, and I want you to hum it, not out loud, hum it only in your head. Okay? Okay. I think that was the cool. <laughs> Is it, is it Living La Vida Loca? Is that what the song is? Yes. The one song out of a hundred proving I can read their mind. Sound Waves is a perfect example of doing something truly extraordinary with something wonderfully ordinary. It's surefire. It never, ever misses. Okay? And there's something about music that applies and appeals to everyone, and that's one of the big strengths of this effect. And one of the things that I was so excited about taking this this classic um, this classic force um, and uh, applying it to something with as much broad appeal as music. That in itself was cool, but then to find I'm mean, talking about a, an ordinary pop culture object. Now, now, when you get this, it comes along with a whole bunch. Of uh, you get many many copies of it. Okay, number one. Number two is they're not all the same. What that means is you can completely repeat the effect right away, uh, because that's this is the kind of effect that's so strong. People often say you don't know, do that again, or no way. There's just no way. Bet you couldn't do it with me, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And given the structure, which you probably know is the performance, is as soon as they've got the song in their head, I tuck the list away back in my wallet. Okay, and again, again, I mean this just looks. I mean this looks so. Perfect. I mean, and you'll see the sheets you get. I mean, you, you, you could study them all day long. They look exactly, totally. I mean, we got the right paper. We got the right color. We got the right shine on the paper. We got the right weight. This looks exactly in this little list. Could have come from Rolling Stones. It could have come from a British music magazine. It could have come from so many places around the world. Okay, so keep that in mind. The, the song choices are wonderful. They're fun. Uh, you get best of the 90s. You also get a, uh, a top 100 songs of all time. Um, so there's so much you can do with this. Now, as I was saying, uh, I make a point of tucking the list away before dividing the song, right? 
Boom. So, and that's key in a few ways. One of the things it does is I tuck it away, okay? It goes by, okay? Then I focus on a divine, and then when someone says, no way, or do that again, or no way, I say, well, fine, look, let's try it with you. Take out the list again, and of course, right there, I just took out another list. A lot like the first one, but also quite different. So I can once again have them think of any two-digit number, okay? Once again we do it, and once again they think of any one of these, 1 to 50 or 50 to 100, and uh, I can divine a second different song. And talk about the world's easiest switch. I mean, it's not even a switch. The structure is so strong on this, and I really, you know, polish it so much in live performance. The fact that I tuck it away and then someone says, do it again, I say, fine, we'll do it again. Just take it out another list. Boom, I can do it again. It's a classic example of being able to repeat something. And in magic, of course, the idea is that sometimes you shouldn't repeat an effect. Because, you know, they say never show the same trick twice. And while that's sometimes true in other instances, it just makes it even more impossible. So keep in mind again, never misses. They can think of any number, any two-digit number. Boom, okay? It involves songs. It talk about portability. I mean, whether you carry one or two lists or whatever you want, you, you know, boom. And so natural. So above board. I work so hard in the presentation uh, to make sure it flows from can you read my mind to think of any two-digit number to, okay, and eventually we get around to this, and there's so many ways to divine. I mean, you can focus on the name. You can focus on the song. You can focus on the melody. You can first try to divine whether it's a band or an individual. I mean, there's so many places you can take this kind of thing, but they're all rooted in something that everybody cares about. Oh, and one last thing about this. I know there are a lot of you out there uh, who don't just work in close-up situations, but also work in stand-up situations. And this is another thing about this kind of mentalism, is I've done this for 150 people at a corporate gig. What matters, sure, nobody can see it from, you know, uh, several feet away, nobody can see the list, but that's not what matters. Because I always have somebody name off several of the songs, and as soon as you hold out the list of people, and somebody can name off a few songs, and somebody else names off a few songs, everybody, doesn't matter, you could be doing this for a thousand people. Everybody knows the list is made up of many different songs, and everybody understands that the number that was thought of was free, and everyone who followed along arrives at different numbers. So, in fact, the larger the group, the more impossible it is, because so many people are thinking about different numbers. So this baby not only works close-up, it works stand-up. You can do it in stage. You have this in your pocket, and you know when you walk out the door that you are always set to freak somebody out anytime, anywhere.